Bon Bini to Curaçao. Curaçao is one of the three ABC islands in the Caribbean Sea. Knowing that, you'll probably already start dreaming of white palm beaches and the bluest water. But Curaçao has way more to offer than that. Here are my favorite 10 best things to see and do in Curaçao. Willemstad is one of the most colorful cities I've ever visited and it has many different quarters you can explore. Punda is the most famous one since this is the shopping center of Willemstad. Here you'll find shops, bars and restaurants and of course the famous Queen Emma Bridge. with more colonial houses turned into boutique hotels, shops and bars. At night it is a very vibrant area, but also by day it is fun to explore. Otrabanda used to be a more dodgy area of the city, but now it is a beautiful neighborhood to explore with colorful houses and street art, thanks to local initiatives to give local artists a chance to show their talents. Another former criminal neighborhood called Sjarlo now is also a true gem to explore more street art in the city and admire more colorful houses. It is also easy here to meet the locals. One of my other favorite things to do in Curaçao is definitely flamingo spotting. There are two areas where you can spot flamingos. The first one is Salinia Sint Michiel on the way to Bullensby. But it is not very accessible and the flamingos are usually too far away. I saw some flamingos but they are far, far away over there. So we are going to try at uh, Willy Brordus because there are supposed to be flamingos as well and I hope the bay is a little smaller so they can come closer because it is quite some distance. At Sint Willy Brodus you will certainly be able to see flamingos. You can get quite close to them if you are lucky. So we are at Willy Brodus now and there are so many flamingos here. I took a lot of awesome shots of some flying flamingos and you can actually go quite close as long as they don't see you because then they fly away. For something more challenging to do, I recommend to climb the Christoffel Mountain. 
start your hike early in the morning because the heat and humidity will make it very difficult. We are now at the Christoffel Park and we are trying to climb the mountain. I'm saying trying because it is quite steep, they told us, and the climate here is practically unbearable because it is very humid, very hot. We're not used to it, we have our breakfast right here. And we just hope we will be able to reach the top. Um, after 10 o'clock you're not allowed to do it anymore because it is too warm. Take into account this is not an easy hike and you'll need to climb using both hands and feet. My mom sees this, she's killing me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm halfway. I swear this is no joke. It's very hard. <laughs> oh god. But the view on top is definitely worth it. So after a very challenging hike we finally arrived at the top of the mountain and the view is fantastic there's a nice breeze here so it's totally bearable I'm so glad I made it but it's a true challenge so check that off the bucket list <laughs> Another awesome piece of nature in Curaçao is the Chete Boca. Here you will find inlets formed by the massive waves crashing into the rocks. I just arrived at um, Boca Pistol. Um, it is at the Chete Boca, it is a, a national park here in Curaçao. And it is a place where there are natural bridges, where there are like um, holes that blow water out of it. But it already looks spectacular over there. <laughs> find a natural bridge there and even access a cave where the waves roll in which also was a little scary. Another natural bridge can be found near Playa Canoa. The drive to the bridge seems more like a game Dodge the Lizard, but you will be the only one on site since this really is off the beaten path. You can walk over the bridge and enjoy the views. Just watch out for the waves so you won't get washed away in the hole. A true hidden gem on Curaçao is the Tomasito Cave. We are now at the Cura Holanda Resort. There is a hidden gem here, it is called Tomasito Cave. And we are going to check it out. You can swim here without anyone else around. Just make sure to stop by the hotel reception first. Truly an amazing place. No one else is here, um, even though it is actually at um, the property of a hotel. None of the guests are here, and this is such a great place to take pictures. So relaxing. I can imagine myself swimming here in the morning, but no one's here. The water has such a nice temperature. Yeah. Thank you. 
If you would love to see more wildlife up close and personal, you should definitely go swimming with turtles at Playa Grande. The turtles stick around because of the fishermen throwing leftovers in the sea and they will swim very close to you. Just be careful they don't bite your fingers off. Curaçao has some nice beaches. My favorites were absolutely Kinepachiki and Casabao because they were more quiet. Yantil and Mambo Beach are more popular. There is also a beach called Porto Mari which should have two pigs running around. But I only found one sleepy dirty pig and a very crowded beach. have fantastic meals at Curaçao and there are a lot of restaurants to choose from. We are on our way to Serafina to have some fine dining in the restaurant and I can't wait to see what they can offer us. So I just finished my dinner experience at Serafina and it is such a good restaurant. Really the owner of the place, uh, Maurice, is very social. He's um, really um, dedicated to his job. He knows a lot about the products. Um, he's importing everything from Italy. So the products are fresh because they arrive every two days and no, this guy really knows what he's doing and it's a great place to eat so if you ever come to Curaçao and you really want to have a unique dining experience you have to come to Serafina. I'm currently at Mundo Vizano and this is probably one of my favorite restaurants here in Willemstad because they, their pasta is delicious. Um, you really have to try the tagliatelle with shrimps and mushrooms and truffle um, cream sauce because it is really really, really good.
And last but not least, make sure to stay in one of the fantastic hotels on the islands. I just arrived at Barrio Hotel. It is situated at Otrobanda. It's um, an area in Willemstad. Um, it is a very nice hotel actually. It's more a boutique hotel. Look at the nice pool behind me. And our room is super cute and I will show you around. If you are into a more relaxing vacation and into beach activities, the Santa Barbara Beach and Golf Resort is probably more your kind of hotel. It has an extensive breakfast and huge rooms, restaurants and a lot of activities to keep you busy. These were my favorite 10 best things to do in Curaçao. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thanks for watching!